Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey, guys, check this out. A lot of my subscribers have been emailing me wanting to know what my basic cost of living is, my living expenses every month in Mexico. So I'm going to make this video. I'm going to jump right into it. If you like it, hit the like button. Feel free to make some comments. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button. We talk about all things Mexico. I jump right into it, folks. No clickbait here. I get right to the point. All right, guys, rent. My rent in Tijuana, Mexico for a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house is $350 a month. It's a nice house in a nice community. All my neighbors work in the United States. It's right behind Walmart if you have to know where it's at, okay? So that $350 house, although I'm not there all the time, um, if I lived in San Diego and had that house in San Diego, that house would be at least $2,000 a month, hands down. Now, my electricity bill in Tijuana is about $20 a month when I'm there, okay? I guarantee you that electricity bill in San Diego would be way over $100 a month. Cable. Cable is outrageous in the United States. In Mexico, I pay about $15 a month for my cable service. Now, also in Mexico, you're going to save a ton of money on products such as living expenses like, for example, a haircut, okay? I mean, there's not much to mine, but it's still $19 at Supercuts, all right? In Tijuana, I can get it done for six, seven bucks all day. I just give the girl a 10 and we keep, keep it moving. All right. Also, Uber. Oh my God. I felt so bad. The other day I was in Tecate and I went from one side of Tecate literally to the other side of Tecate and then back to the border. Okay. So I crossed the city once and then went halfway back to the city. Took up probably an hour of this lady's time. That would have easily been probably a $25, $30 Uber ride in San Diego. And in Tecate, it was $9, all right? So you're going to save a lot of money on things like that. I don't smoke, but cigarettes are $2 a pack, $3 a pack. They're at least double that in the States. Same thing with liquor, okay? Liquor is going to be a little cheaper in Mexico for the most part. Now, if you're at like little bars and things like that, that's where you really save a lot of money. Let's say you're in a gas lamp district in San Diego. You order a drink and it's like seven, eight bucks, right? For a drink. You can get that same drink at a corner bar, a nice little place in Mexico for three, four dollars all day long. And hey, a lot of times in Mexico, they run the two for one special. So you're going to save a lot of money there too. Let me look down, see if I didn't miss anything. Oh yeah. Car maintenance. Um, the other day, a friend of mine called. And she told me that she was all upset. She had $600 estimate from Jiffy Lube on cars. Okay. She needed her oil changed. She had an oil leak. She also needed some brake pads done and a couple tires. I told her, I said, Oh my God, relax. You got to go to Tijuana. Okay. She goes to Tijuana. She winds up getting all this stuff done for like $200. Right. So she saved 60, 70% off the top of her car maintenance. Also, restaurants, folks. Restaurants are a lot cheaper in Mexico just because their overhead is cheaper, okay? They're not spending near the money on things such as electricity, labor, gas, things like that, okay? They're not spending near the money. So whereas when you go to Applebee's and you order like the Fiesta Line chicken or whatever and it comes out to $19.99 and then you end up tipping a little money or whatever and you end up spending 20 bucks at Applebee's, you know, you're going to go places in Mexico and you're going to be able to get a dish very close to that for seven, eight bucks. Now, granted, if you go to the Four Seasons or Temptations in Cancun, it's going to be different. OK, I'm just talking about normal, everyday places. So as you can see, I save a lot of money with my place in Mexico and living in Mexico. Honestly, all those years that I did work in San Diego and I lived in Mexico, it allowed me to do two things. It allowed me, number one, to have a hell of a good time and throw some just ridiculous parties, okay? And number two, it allowed me to save some money, get my credit in order. So when I did start buying rental properties and doing a few of the things that I do that we're going to get into later on, it put me in a lot better position to be able to do that because I didn't make the kind of money in California that it took to sustain your living expenses in California, which are outrageous. And also have, number two, money saved up to invest in other things in, okay? So, hey, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to get to me and I'll let you know. Um, 
Folks, I really appreciate it. We are, we're up to 1,500 subscribers now. Hit that red subscribe button if you're still here with me. And I'm sorry about looking down at the paper. Gosh, I feel like Joe Biden now. I'll probably lose some subscribers for that comment. But hey, um, you guys have a good one. I'll see you later.